Hello and welcome again to another Curator's Chat here at the Behringer Crawford Museum. I'm Jason French, Curator of Collections, and one last time I wanted to share with you items from this tremendous 1919 Reds World Series winning uh, team and these cards, this collection. And I wanted to share with you some of the things from the signature case because we've got new items. So in the last video, I said we were, there were 13 signatures. Well, we now have a 14th signature. And this 14th signature is of a man named Ivy Wingo. Um, and I have a card here next to it. And the reason being is this is actually a release so that Ivy had given permission to use his image, a portrait, on a baseball card. Now, this card next to it is from 1923, and this release is from, I believe, 1921, so I don't know that it's the same portrait. However, it's a really rare item, and Ivy Wingo's signature is hard to get anyways. So we're very excited, and the collector is very excited to have this, and he wanted to be able to share this with the public. The other thing I thought I would share with you in this case is I just wanted to point out We've got a couple of signatures here of Pat Duncan. Well, Pat Duncan's an interesting player. Um, he was the first man to hit a home run out of Redland Field, which later became Crosley, and it was not an easy task. Um, so we have this wonderful signature of Pat, and being that he was the first man to hit the home run out of the field, uh, and was also playing in the 1919 Reds, thought I would share that with you as well. And speaking of Redland Field, we're going to go over here because we didn't show this in the last video, but the collector has managed to get seats that were in the stadium at Redland Field, uh, likely at the time of the 1919 Reds. They could have been there when Pat Duncan hit his first home run out of the, the uh, stadium. So I wanted to share that because there is a tremendous collection here. These are items that you will, once they go down, at the end of October, you're not probably ever going to get to see them again. The collector also wanted to do something special for our, our visitors, our guests, and anybody who's interested in it, who's watching this today. He has offered up three signature from Ed Roush that we are going to auction off on GiveSmart. Ed Roush was a major player in 1919 for the Reds. He actually um, won uh, the batting championship that year for the National League. Um, it's funny, he used a 48-ounce bat. Ed uh, was a played for the Reds for many years and is a tremendous player. We're excited to be able to offer these signatures on an auction to help uh, Behringer Crawford, and we're very thankful that our collector was willing to do so. So wanted to kind of let you know about that, and you'll have uh, plenty of opportunity over the next month to maybe take home a little piece of 1919 Reds history for yourself. Thank you, and have a good day.